Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do yours instead, Terminated. This is a 10-minute compilation of something. Joey Whispers? Ugh. Okay. Let's see what we got. Got your left blinker on and you're coming over to the right side. That's pretty fucking interesting, huh? A little fucking different there. <laughs> right? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking nice, dude. Jesus. What the fuck was that? Are you that much of a fucking asshole? Green light! I understand what this is about now. Dumb ass drivers. Guys. And gals, you always yield to these types of vehicles. The 18-wheelers, the truckers, the, the, the big ones that say wide heavy load, okay? We're not talking about Ron Jeremy, all right? Wide heavy load. These fucking vehicles, man, you yield to these fucking things. You yield to these fucking things. These are like trains with wheels. What do you think your Prius is going to do if you get into a tussle? With one of these vehicles. It's not going to be good for you. This driver, the, the trucker is going to survive. You won't survive. You yield to these trucks, man. Uh, when I'm on the highway and I see an 18-wheeler, you know what I do? I get in the other lane and I speed past them very, very quickly. I don't want to drive behind them. I don't want to be in front of them. And I don't want to be next to them. I speed past them as fast as I can so they can do whatever they need to do because they need so much time to slow down. They need so much time to fight these, these fucking people. Yeah, it's not gonna get any fucking greener. <laughs> Green light, man. Get off your phone. Get off your fucking phone. Stop playing with TikTok. Come on, different shade of green you want? I like that one. Come on, it's a green light. It's a green fucking light. It's a green light, man. Sorry. It's a green light. It's a green. It's a green fucking light, man. Wow. All about courtesy, man, but that's just fucking stupid. <laughs> I got no courtesy on the road, bro. I just don't. Yeah, that was definitely not fucking dead. Nobody behind me, man. Nobody be fucking behind me. And then you don't even step on the gas. That's fucking awesome. You know, this is so funny because this is essentially me behind the ve behind the wheel of an actual car. Not even a truck. Not even a heavy vehicle. Not even an 18-wheeler. This is me, period. On the road. Anywhere, man. And the 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 further north I, I feel like the further north you go, the worse it gets. I feel like the south is nothing but a whole bunch of very offensive drivers. Offensive and defensive. The further up north you go, man, it's just like... It kind of just starts to, to teeter downwards as far as like the IQ and some of the... But maybe y'all feel the same about the south. I don't fucking know, but... I be driving to arrive. The, the, these motherfuckers don't be doing... I, I don't understand. Double stop sign. Yeah, fuck that, I guess, huh? Fuck, I guess Alaska don't stop at stop signs either. <laughs> Hey, I hate how this. you doing today? I'm doing good. I yeah. hate this. Just driving kids around and stuff. You know, I hate how you this. doing? I'm doing good. It's nice. Sun's out. Yeah, good. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where he hit that fucking guardrail. Push that all out. Look at that shit, huh? Florida's terrible for driving. Florida's absolutely terrible. And you would think, it, down in Florida, people people go full retard when it rains. And I can't imagine why, because it's always raining in Florida. Wait 10 minutes, it'll rain again. And I just don't understand, Florida's awful to drive through, man. And then, for most of Georgia, it really is relatively good up until you hit Atlanta. Atlanta, Marietta, Jonesboro, fucking Alpharetta. That, that, that right there is pure, unfiltered cancer. That's where he fucking hit. That's where it started. Shit went fucking south from there. What do we got here? Okay, we got the big toe boys out here. Man, that's fucking 
fucking suck, dude. What did you do? <laughs> How do you do this? How did you get this big mammoth of a fucking dump truck on a divider? <laughs> Oh, you're getting fired. Really. Whatever company you work for, they're about to let you go. Hope you're all right. Oh, wrecked the fucking car too. Jesus Christ. What a fucking nightmare. What? Then again, never mind. One of these jackasses are probably at fault, and, and, and that's how he ended up on the divider. I don't want to go ahead and blame the dump truck driver too soon, because there's civilian vehicles involved, but you still may get fired anyways. Wow. Oh, a couple of them. Woo! And I hope everybody's all right. Son of a bitch! Wow! Use of That's FAA a funny planes. This is like hey. Sam Britton. Hey! Hey! Luggage. Pete Buttigieg just flying around. You can't park the there. Jets. And he says, place for a picnic? I don't know. That's so stupid. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why? You had all that road. And yes, that far right lane ends, but you still, you, you were in a lane that didn't, and you decided to get in front of this truck. Why would you fucking get in that lane? Why? It makes no fucking sense. It doesn't. You're going slow. This is the fucking slow lane. Look at this hero. Look at no. this dumbass. How do you just fucking come out of there? I didn't I didn't actually think that I'd see him get into an actual accident. I thought this was gonna be nothing but close calls and morons. That guy right there, he went full retard. What the fuck, man? Just because there's not a stop sign doesn't mean that you you shouldn't stop and check I I just I'm gonna say this again because I said it before. I really do think that that people should have to take their driving test every five years. And if, well, actually not every five years, every 10 years. If you're over the age of 55 and probably quite possibly 60, you should have to reapply for a brand new driver's license and take a brand new test every five years. Because, but then again, it's always the young people you see not doing shit because young people are addicted to their fucking cell phones. I didn't see- I didn't see you there! Whoa, that was a nice move, man. What the fuck was that all about? <laughs> I'm going this way, mother- Look at this guy. Yeah, that's what are you way, doing? You fucking moron. We are the Illuminati. I guess you drive on that side of the road. I'll drive- I have a question for all the people that were alive before cell phones were invented and given to the general population. Were people still this stupid on the road? Do I have anybody in chat that's old enough to remember? Were people still stupid? Were people still this terrible at driving back in the day? Because lots of times I attribute this to motherfuckers being on their phone. Yes, that's unfortunate. Drive on this side of the road. What the fuck, man? Yeah, that's not, a, that's not the right lane, honey. Valid questions has happened to the autopsy. Yeah, that was a nice fucking move, huh? Jesus Christ, that's so dangerous. Look at this. You're behind a vehicle and you have no vision of oncoming traffic. So right there, boom. You could have killed your passenger. If a car is coming in that lane, you can't see because you can't see past this truck. You just killed your passenger. My lord. Questions has happened to the autopsy. Yeah, that was a nice fucking move, huh? What are you doing? Which, which fucking lane you want here? You gotta fucking pick one, man. Can't have both of them. What the fuck are you doing, man? Oh, uh, yeah, that's close. Whoa, that's fucking close. Ah, it was close. Yeah, fuck everything, right? That looks like an Amazon delivery truck. What's up, man? Got another one here? Yeah, there you go. Attaboy. <laughs> Driving that recklessly and oblivious in a BMW? Good God. Oh, shit. What are you doing, dude? What are you 
fucking doing, dude? What are you fucking doing, dude? He went too far and he can't turn. Now he's got to back what up. What the fuck was that? You misjudged that turn by that much? He did. Even the car in front of him was like, I gotta get the fuck out of the way because this guy's gonna kill me or somebody. Yeah. What is on the top of your car? You're gonna fuck something up, bro. That's protruding way too far. You're gonna hit an oncoming car in the opposite lane and... That's one hell of a fucking roof rack, yo. Yep. That's awesome. Abuse cases, they, they, they won't even go over 30 charges. Holy shit, did that guy just back up in front of... He just backed up in front of that, behind that, all right? Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen... That was fucking awesome right there! Got right out of the asshole zone. Good <laughs> for you, man. See this guy staying back behind the asshole zone? That's the reason why. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Have yourself a good day. Yeah, that's like well into the fucking asshole zone, man. Well into the fucking asshole zone. You make it so hard for these trucks to turn when you go way too far, man. You really do. They're acting illegally. They have targets. They have targets on Trump's back. They have what targets on the American doing, people's dude? back. What the fuck? Oh, oh shit! What are you that could have been a pretty bad accident. He didn't realize that the car, the, the the car that was two cars in front of him, was about to turn. Are you, doing? Are you turning? Are you fucking going straight? What are you doing? Take doing? a shit or get off the toilet. Oh, you're turning. All right. Well, you could have went one way. Could have went. You know the fucking blinkers are awesome, right? Right? Fuck. How dare he? I I wish that he would put a PA system on his truck and everything he says, just say it. <laughs> say it into the PA system so the dumbasses can hear that they're dumbasses. That would be fantastic. Right. When you talk about crime, when you talk about uh, East Palestine. What the hell was that? You just decided to go through the red light? Mm -hmm. so much, it wasn't so quick much enough for you? <laughs> I've blown through red lights, man, but it's like three o'clock in the morning. There's no one on the road. And it's just like, this red light has been red for like 18 years, and I'm just like... Yeah, it's fucking dead here. Yeah, we're going. That's... Fuck that. I I've done it, but like, never during the day when there's traffic. That guy just said, fuck it. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't know what fucking country they, this is, they do this at, but... Uh, but Afghanistan. They do this... Well, in Afghanistan, there's only two two lane roads every fucking where, unless it's, like, just rare... A rare roundabout or something like that, but... Oh, you're gonna turn up here, okay. All right. Yeah, that's not really how we do it here, but... Hey, man. You know, to each his own, I guess. Yo, fuck. It's like, I can't believe they put a three lane road here. It's crazy. You pac man. Waka, 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 waka. You can't eat the lines, man. You can't drive on them. Come on. Yeah, thanks for kicking that right in front of me there, dude, huh? Yeah, I know you're pointing at the thing you just kicked in front of me. <laughs> did 
that make you feel better? You get a little further now. You, you feel good now. All right. I, I'm glad I could help you out. Fuck. If you wonder why I'm doing this, that's because of what you just fucking did, so nobody else will fucking do it. Mm -hmm. All right? That's why. Dude, are you fucking serious right now? Oh. Are you a fucking asshole or what? You had to fucking do that right there, huh? The globalist in the what are you doing, dude? Are you that fucking stupid? Oh, yeah, there goes the fucking douchebag. Wow. Nice, man. That was wow. good. You planned that whole fucking time, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, blow that fucking stop sign and jump right in front of me. You're not that smart, are you? <laughs> you fucking idiot. The global corporate consortium that runs the UN uh, to bring in the... Yeah, get off the road. Get off the road. I hope you feel dumb. That was fucking close. Oh my god, come on, come on, you fucking assholes. Take the next right onto Chapel Street, then turn right onto Lieutenant John William Leary Lane. You know what that X means? What are you no, doing, no, no, garbage no, no, truck? No, no, what are you doing? Every what are you... day it's getting closer to taking a bath with a fucking toaster. <laughs> that was nice, huh? <laughs> Thank you. All right, nice drivers once in a while. How about that shit? Atta boy. Atta boy. Good job. If you run into me, I'm always going to let you have the right of way, bro, no matter fucking what. Even if it's my right of way, you can have it. I'm not trying to fight with you about it. Right there. I saw you looking in your mirror, man, trying to fucking help me out. I appreciate it. Oh, that was painful to Is watch. Yeah. God damn, Danny, De Danny DeVito's still alive? I haven't seen, but this is what's always sunny in Philadelphia. I've never actually seen this show. And it's been, hasn't this show been on the air for like, for like what seems forever now? I've never seen a single episode. The Lumos trucks I drive do have a PA system. I've been so so tempted to use it. I already abused the siren. Yeah, uh, our trucks didn't have PA systems. That's just one thing that the military didn't really deem as necessary for the trucks that we had <clears throat> and the gun trucks that we had. Because... You bet your ass, had our trucks had PA systems, I would have worked hella harder at learning the language just so I could cuss these fuckers out. Really. Because... Over there, you cut off one of our trucks, you're gonna get a 50 cal aimed at you. Here, you're just gonna have some guy cussing under his breath and uh, blaring his horn. Yeah, no. It works entirely different. Had we had a PA system, I would have I abused the shit out of it. A hundred percent. But I had a really, really big gun, and that was just as 